Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable Windows Copilot AI in Windows 11. For those of you who don't know, Windows 11 moment for update for Windows 11 22H2 or Windows 11 23H2 includes the new Windows 11 AI assistant, which is called Copilot. And a lot of users are still not ready for this kind of assistant inside their operating system. So until Microsoft releases a well-polished version or until users are ready to transition to AI functions inside Windows, you can disable it using three methods that I'm going to show you in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, to disable Windows Copilot, you can simply hide it from the taskbar so that you don't accidentally open it or anything like that. To do that, just right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings. And from here in the taskbar items section, you can just uncheck Copilot Preview or Windows Copilot and you will no longer have it on your your taskbar. Of course, this is not really disabling it because it will still run in Windows, but it won't be pinned to the taskbar and you won't be able to accidentally open it. Now I'm going to show you also a few methods that you can do to permanently disable it inside Windows. First of all, we're going to go into the registry editor. So just open up the search box, tap in here registry, click on registry editor, and on your account control, of course, click on yes. Expand H key current user, then software, then policies, Microsoft, and then Windows. From here, after you expand Windows, Windows, right click on Windows, click on new and then key. You can name this key Windows Copilot, press enter and inside the Windows Copilot key in the right side, right click here, new DWIRD 32 bit value, name it turn off Windows Copilot with capital letters as I wrote it. You will also have more info in every key that I'm changing in this video in the article below. So you can just copy and paste them from there. And all you need to do is to double click on this and then set the value data to one, click on OK and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And a third method that you can use to disable Windows Copilot is to use the Group Policy Editor. So just open up the search box, type in here Group Policy Editor or something similar and then click on Edit Group Policy. From here in the left side, expand Administrative Templates, then Windows Components, and you'll have here Windows Copilot. And you have here the setting, turn off Windows Copilot. You can just double click on it and then select from here Enabled, Apply and OK. And this is how easy it is to turn off Windows Copilot. So I think this is the right video if you're trying to completely disable Windows Copilot at least for now because it is still in the preview stage. There are a lot of things that need to be polished. Until then, if you don't like it, you can simply disable it or hide it from the taskbar. Don't forget that in the article below, you're going to have more in-depth info about all these three methods that I showed you in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.